Hi, it's Elder. I'm a minimalist and a big fan of Apple's built-in apps, so I don't install a lot of third-party software on my Macs. But there are about 13 or 14 apps I always install on my new Macs and I want to share them with you in this video. All of the apps I'm showing here are either free or can be purchased with just one-time payment, so no subscription. Let's start with Things, the app which basically runs my life, especially the business part of it. I use it for to-do lists and task management, and I put the shopping list, groceries, all inside things. I also use it for serious planning of my personal and business life. I manage a number of business projects inside things, and all of the videos I publish here on YouTube go through the Things app. Pixelmator Pro is the best photo editing app for the Mac. I use it for everything, for editing photos, retouching. I use it to optimize the images for web, for all of my websites. And I actually have done a tutorial on this topic. If you're interested, link will be in the description below. I use it to create thumbnails for YouTube and even things like custom LUTs for video color grading. In my opinion, Pixelmator Pro is the best alternative for Photoshop. It is actually faster and more enjoyable to use. And there is, of course, no subscription. And you can get it for just $40. And I believe right now it is on sale for $20. So a no-brainer for me. Affinity Designer is one of the best apps for graphic design. It is similar to Adobe Illustrator, but it is, of course, without subscription and you can get it for just $55. I use it for logo design or some brand design work. And I design the vector graphics and maybe some icons for my websites with Affinity Designer. So highly recommend it. When I'm too lazy to optimize the each and every image for my website using the Pixelmator Pro, I will use Image Optim to do the optimization for many images at once. It is quite simple and very easy to use, and it basically allows you to compress the image sizes without losing the quality. Blocks is the website design tool I use on my Mac. I believe that it is one of the best web design tools on the market and definitely the best app for Mac when it comes to building websites without coding. I use it for website design and development because you don't really need to separate these two processes. In Blocks, you just open the project and you can build your website visually. I use it for my own website because I can get very fast loading and very well performing website. And I use it for client work. You can use it to build websites for small businesses or some personal website. For simple and static website, Blocks is definitely top of my list when it comes to website builders. Transmit is the best file transfer app for Mac, in my opinion. I use it to publish the websites I build to FTP servers but it can also be used to connect to cloud servers like Dropbox, Google, and others. It is very fast, polished, and beautiful Mac app. Final Cut Pro is the app I use to edit all of my videos for my online courses, tutorials, and of course for my YouTube channels. Obviously, this is not the third-party app, it is made by Apple, and it is the most expensive app on my list in this video. If you are new to video editing, I would suggest to start this iMovie, and when you are ready to jump to more advanced video editing, Final Cut Pro is a great option. Audacity is the simple app I use to improve the audio quality of my videos and audio recordings. It is free and open source, and you can use it to record and edit multiple layers of audio. You can add different effects and improvements, and in my case, I mostly use it to get rid of the background noise in my videos. Handbrake is the most popular open source free video converter app for Mac. You can use it to convert the videos from almost any format and it is very handy for me because when I create my online courses, I try to export the videos in the maximum quality and this means of course a big file size. But with Handbrake, I can create the optimized versions, the smaller size, which are perfect for sharing. Monosnap is another very useful app which you can use to take screenshots and record the screen of your Mac. I mainly use it for the screen recording for my web design tutorials. I especially like the ability to set the frame size in pixels to exactly what I want. And you can also record the webcam at the same time, choose the microphones, quality, and even create GIFs or GIFs if you want.
I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of this app, but I believe it is Ina, and it is a beautiful video player app for Mac, which plays basically every video format I can throw at it. I think that the best way to think about it is as a beautiful version of a VLC player, the most popular video player for Mac. The Unarchiver is the app I use for situations when the default archive utility on the Mac is not supporting some rare format, for example, RAR. It is also very useful in situations when you have some special characters or maybe some foreign language in the name of the archive or even the name of the files inside the archive. In my experience, Unarchiver handles these type of files beautifully. So that's it for my list. If you find this video helpful, please like it and go watch this video next.